As a fan of miHoYo, I truly enjoy playing Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact. The experience that I had for playing these games were amazing, but sadly, not everyone was able to play or experience the fun that these games provide. Why? Some wanted to play both games but doesn't have the compatible equipments to do so. Some were avoiding it because of its gacha mechanics even though they loved the gameplay. Some were playing Genshin Impact but isn't familiar of Honkai Impact. And many more reasons that gives the new players a hard time on deciding if they're going to sacrifice their storage just to play this game or not. So if you're still wondering and having a hard time deciding if you're going to play Honkai Impact 3, Genshin Impact, or both, I'm here to help you decide. Because on this video, I'm going to tell you the reasons why we, the players, love Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact. In this video, we are not going to compare the two games. Because the goal of this video is to gather more players to the community. I would like to thank everyone who watched my previous video. So if you're new to the channel and you're looking for the comparison video, you can click the link in the description below. The number one reason is the game characters. Each game has a collection of different intricate characters. Each one was made to stand out the other in their own way. For Genshin Impact, even though we can't deny some similarities, each characters were still unique because of their different weapon classes accompanied with different elements. Because of that, you will have a good time putting a team together. You can also do it in your own way. Party bonus stats were added in order to help you decide on who and what to put in your party. But no one will stop you if you want each of your party to have the same element. Don't worry, I'll also do that. While in Honkai Impact, most of the characters shares the same name and looks. But what is different was their skill and type. Just like Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact also have their own weapon classes and elements but in this game, they called it Battle Suits. Each character has their own version of Battle Suits. So if you want your original Kiana, which is the mecha battle suit named White Comet become Psychic, you only need to unlock her Divine Prayer suit. This allows each character to be different in many ways, even within their own. You can even rank 6 Kiana on who's the best and who's not if you like. So it's all because of how original each battle suit for each Valkyrie was. Another reason is that who will not fall in love with this character's design? They're so cute. Next is the events. Each game shares different set of events that applies to each world. Currently, Genshin Impact is experiencing the Lantern event featuring a fan favorite character Shell, while Honkai Impact is currently having their collaboration with Neon Genesis Evangelion, a 1995 mecha anime produced by Gainax, the same guys who gave Garen Laga. Each of these events have their own unique add-ons. For Genshin Impact, they receive a new character story, a new boss, a new character, a new set of artifacts, a new tower defense minigame, and a lot of in-game currency bonuses. While in Honkai Impact, they got a new Mortal Cycle minigame, new character, another mecha gameplay sequence, new story, and new weapons and stigmas. Not like other games which only give you additional bonuses to enjoy in their events like profile character cards, banner, or just poor little skins that doesn't feel like an event reward, both Honkai and Genshin Impact gave you an opportunity to a whole new experience and if you are lucky that you are able to get the new featured characters, then you can take that new experience up to the next event. Next is the story. Both of the games has different and unique story. For Honkai Impact, the story revolves around the journey of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and the rest of the crew which were called the Shikshan as they fight against the Honkai invasion. It is a very common story because you can see that type of introduction in many protagonists versus invaders animes or series. But the way how they unfold each of the characters' story was the reason why it became engaging. A lot of scenarios from your average team versus enemy sequences up to the heartbreaking friend versus friend sequences, the story was well made even though it was delivered in a traditional dialogue flow with a rare animated cutscene. 
While for Genshin Impact, the story revolves around two siblings, Lumin and Aether. It depends on who you are going to choose but if we are going to stick with the trailers, Aether lost her sister in a battle. So as you wake up in a journey of finding your sister, you eventually end up meeting different people from Mondstadt and Liu Wei. You spend a long time helping them which actually adds up to the story. Just like in Honkai Impact, this game also provides a good action sequences, cool story quests, funny dialogues and more. But not like Honkai Impact, Genshin Impact has its own fair share of dialogue storytelling. But the Genshin Impact team made a good improvement by adding a lot of cutscenes and make it like your average JRPG dialogue CGI cutscenes. Both of the games have their own way of delivering the story, which will surely make the player enjoy rather than just reading the whole thing from the book. Next is the gameplay. Each of these games shares their own gameplay execution. For Genshin Impact, they focus on an open world type of gameplay. Less action but more ways of execution. You can lead the characters on explosive barrel then pop it in order to do tons of damage. You can hit them from above to feel like you are a superhero, or you can just do the old trick of getting them heads on. With that said, Genshin Impact also have a rich open world environment. The details of each place will make you feel to buy a new phone or a better PC just to run it in its highest graphics. The world of Genshin Impact will make you fall in love right from the start. As you look up to the beautiful sun going across the sky, up to the part when you are chasing down tiny lizards on the ground. Every corner has their own detail, and even though how much you hate this game, you can't deny how lively and beautiful every city, every land, and even every island in this world looks. While in Honkai Impact, we can agree that this game is the best action RPG in the store. Why would you wait for the Devil May Cry mobile version if you got Honkai Impact available in your hands? This game will push your adrenaline rush up to 11. Even though the game's open world felt very empty, you will not notice that because you want to slash your way to the next enemy as soon as possible. Every fight scene feels like you're the top-notch anime sequence. Every single perfect dodge felt so satisfying. Every special skill felt like Midoriya and All Might hitting that last punch on Wolfram. And even every slash from any Sakura battle suit feels like Tanjiro slashing his way through the demons. Honkai Impact is the highest level for any action RPG to reach and no one can beat Honkai Impact in action. Except if Punishing Grey Raven reach its global version, now that is a competitor. Next is the community. The community is what makes the game better or worse. Just like any other community, the MiHoYo community isn't safe from those treacherous toxic players. But luckily, we are able to experience more friendly ones than the toxic ones. Well, in Honkai Impact, I don't know how you can be so toxic except from calling me a weak player because of my low-level characters joining high-level players. But in Genshin Impact, you can see the toxicity within the players because of how they steal your world loot without asking. For me, it isn't a big deal. But for other players, it is a major problem. And luckily, it is very rare to see this kind of players. Both of the community in Genshin and Honkai helps you on grinding items. In Genshin Impact, I met a lot of strong players that helped me kill my world bosses. Now I return that favor to some of my low level friends in order for them to catch up with my level and help me in the future. This is the main reason why the Mihoyo game stands out. Its community is the one of the most and best community I've ever experienced. A lovely experience I would really love to share with new players. And for my final reason, the devs. After talking about the community, this will be the best opportunity to talk about the devs. Comparing to most of the games in the mobile platform, Mihoyo is doing a great job on keeping a good relationship between the players. They listen to their own player base and their players' desire. This is much obvious on the success of Honkai Impact since 2016 and the amazing performance of Genshin Impact currently. I have my own fair share of experience in both games. In Honkai Impact, Mihoyo experienced a big problem when updating their game. In last almost three days. For the players it is a big problem because the event was live but not every player can join. Because of this Mihoyo gave a big compensation which allows me to get two new S tier characters. 
While in Genshin Impact, I was buying the Moon in the Walking bundle, but I wasn't able to receive the bundle. The problem is I was able to pay it. I made a complaint in Mihoyo's customer service and helped me as soon as possible. They were able to solve the problem in less than 2 days, which is the fast response comparing to other games in the market. Just like what they said, a great team was led by a great leader. Mihoyo wasn't a perfect team nor a perfect leader, but they were able to cope up with their mistakes which makes them one of the best company in the platform. So that is the reason why we love Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact. Did I miss something? Kindly help me and put that on the comment section below so that we can help Mihoyo get a bigger community than before. And as always, I hope you enjoy.